Hi everyone, today we'll be proving the um, compound angle formula for cos, which is basically cos A minus B equals cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. Now we can use the other compound angle formulas in a lot of scenarios, but this is usually the, the first one we use to prove and then we can build on this to build the other the ones for the other um, trig functions. So let's start by drawing a unit circle. And for those of you who don't know, a unit circle is basically a circle whose radius is one. It's not the best drawing of a circle, but I think it'll do for now. Let's just zoom in a bit on this. And um, let's say this is an angle A, right? I'll not actually draw it. And then let's say this is an angle B, because it'll get confusing. This angle is B. So then this will be, this whole thing is A and this is B, so this will be A minus B. Right? I'll not draw it because it's getting a bit messy. Now by definition of the unit circle, the point, this point, which is, this is, this is A, right? This whole angle is A. So this will be cos A sine A. Because think about it, this radius is 1, right? We've defined that because it's a unit circle. And so sine theta of this will be the opposite of the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is 1, so the opposite side will be sine theta, which is the y, the y coordinate of this point. And the x-axis will be then be cos theta, because cos adjacent over hypotenuse, right? So it's the x-coordinate, so it's cos theta or cos a over sine a. And this is cos of b and sine of b. Keep in mind this whole angle is A, right? This will be A minus B. So let's 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 draw a different diagram of this now. Uh, let's try my best in drawing it. Not the best drawing, but okay. Now since these are both radii and this is a unit circle, they both will be one. This is A minus B. Now what's this length? Now we know the distance formula for let's say we have two coordinates x1, y1 and sorry about that, um, x2, y2. We know that the distance will be square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, I'll move to this page now. Well, let's read. Let's, so now we'll redraw this diagram very quick. So this is one one. Now what's this distance? We can use this. We know the x coordinates and y coordinates. Cos a sine a cos cos b sine b. So this distance will be this distance, the square root of x two minus x one, which is cos a, cos b minus cos a squared. Let's say this is AB, right? It will just help us prove it. AB. Plus. Sine B. Minus sine A. Squared. And I think you can see it's fairly intuitive how we're getting this. Right? We're basically using Pythagoras. We know that this is the x distance and the y distance. For example, this is the x and the y, and we can use Pythagoras because it's the diag, it's the hypotenuse kind of right, of the differences of the x and the differences of the y. So we can simplify. Actually, let's not simplify this now. Now this is a minus b, right? Now the cosine rule. So I'll explain the cosine rule very quickly. I just did a revision. If you have theta like this, and you have a, b, c, then cos of theta is equal to a square plus b square minus c square over 2ab it's the this is the cos co cosine rule and now since we know it's cos a minus b we can use this to um solve for cos a minus b right so cos of a minus b 
and how this works is basically you take the you take these sides as a and b the ones that are um, adjacent to the angles in the opposite side to be c right so which is a square which is what one plus one minus this squared i think we can directly expand this you get cos square b plus cos square we're expanding this one first right plus cos square a i think we have enough space yeah minus 2 sin a cos a sorry 2 minus 2 cos b cos a minus 2 cos b cos a plus same thing for this sin square b plus sin square a minus 2 sin a sin b right which is expanding this is a bit long now but you know we we just try fixing the angle real quick here we go and then we can divide all of this by 2ab which is just 2 times 1 times 1 which is 2 now for this one we can simplify this as cos square b plus sin square b is equal to 1 right this is 1 cos square a and sin square a is equal to 1 now what we get is it's a beautiful equation now 2 and this minus 2 minus 2 cos b cos a minus 2 sin a sin b over 2 now we can now we can put this minus sign out you get 2 minus 2 is 0 right so we can just do minus of minus 2 cos 2 cos b cos a is 2 cos b cos a plus 2 sin b I'll show you sin b sin a divided by 2 now we take the 2 common out of the numerator cancel them out and you get cos of a minus b is equal to cos a cos b which is rearranging it right cos a cos b plus sin a sin b beautiful